I think what we'll do is just not go to the Crown Tundra again. We're just gonna head down this way. Wait, what is this? Bro, wait, what? I've never seen those before. That's definitely new to the game. Oh yeah, I think there was something else that was added that's new. Let me go back all the way back to the beginning. So I'm pretty sure there was something else added. This makes me sad, man, because I feel like these are really good quality of life changes, but on the Nintendo Switch version, they haven't uh, released the update yet. For some reason, Nintendo just has a huge delay on, like, their updates for the game. Oh, this guy wasn't here before either. What the? Is he looking like X and Y with the red and blue? Or I guess the original red and blue. This land is nothing like mine. Where are you from? I have come from Drake Isles. Tis nothing but a little visit. My home is full of dragons who find great joy in hunting tyrants. That's the reason why many people live in relative peace. Or well, my people. Come visit us when you get the chance, lad. You'd like it. Yo, I'm down. We can actually go to the Drake Islands right now if we want to. But what the heck are these? Do they like give you stamina or something? Or maybe they heal your Nexomon. That'd be cool if they added like little healing totems every once in a while. So you don't have to walk all the way back to uh, the actual healer. Oh, yeah, this is definitely new. We get the Synergy Core 3. I can't even say it properly, but Synergy Core 3, which is basically the EXP share that I was explaining a little bit ago. So for example, if we give this to our Un Onin, he will actually gain 25% of the XP that the next Nexomon that actually battle get. So it's very, very helpful if you don't want to, you know, bother actually switching in and out your Pokemon. I mean, Nexomon. I mean, you know, same difference. But yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, this guy's over here too. Or girl. What about you? Why are you standing in my way? Please. I must talk to the lonely one. I know what you're thinking. Tamers are incredibly lazy. Oh, she wanted the Rubby. I forgot. Finally, we can give her that. Sorry, Rubby. You were probably going to end up getting replaced anyway, so... Feels bad. But hey, we got some cash from it. We need that cash money. But yeah, I don't know why Nintendo takes so long to release their updates, man. I want to get that EXP core in the other version I'm playing. So if you've been playing, definitely go back and get that chest. If you're on PC or PS4, I guess. If you're on Switch, unlucky, man. So I'm one of the unlucky ones, too. Let's just move along with the story down here, I believe. Or not, because we got this girl. Excuse me, would you mind fighting me in a Nexomon battle? Yes, yes, as always. Hey, it don't gotta be dry chat. You guys can, you know, do say, ask me anything. Got any interesting questions for the Munchy Bunchy? Feel free. This is your time right now. Rise up, gamers. Otherwise, I mean, I enjoy the chillness too. I'm definitely more focused on the game anyway, so it makes sense. Whoa, okay, that guy looks a little bit, uh, like if Scraggy fell into a vat of poison. I don't know which Batman movie it is, but in one of them, the Joker somehow becomes a thing by falling into a vat of acid or poison. That's basically if Scraggy fell into that, he would turn into that Nexomon. It was like a ghost version of him. Because he dead. Actually, I might rematch this guy after all. Oh, wait, I forgot. We lost Cubby. So we have a space now for another team member. <laughs> hey, there we go. See, it was worth the rematch. We got the level up on Stinger, dude. And I think, much like starter Pokemon, a lot of these guys actually evolve, like, around level 16. So, we should be seeing Gekoko's evolution soon enough. Uh, this person doesn't want to battle, though. Oh, I guess we already traded with them, then. But this girl over here definitely does. My, my, aren't you exploring a little too far from the beautiful safety of Param? What? What makes you think I can't handle myself, lady? Oh yeah, this is definitely why we need a water type on the team, dude. We got Heat Blast from Ben 10 out here. 
just finished Demon Slayer about a week ago and found out that the movie's coming. January 2021 or February. What did you think, man? I actually really like Demon Slayer. I didn't think that I would when I first heard about it, but it ended up living up to the hype, man. So I'm really excited for the movie. I feel like it's perfect too. Like, since the manga's already done, I'm thinking that the story itself is not that long. So the fact that they're doing a movie instead of just continuing on with season two, I mean, I guess that's, it can be good and bad, but it might help for like the pacing of the show. So it doesn't like get boring at any points. But then again, I don't know. I feel like if the manga's short, it wouldn't really get boring. We'll see though, no spoilers, because I haven't actually read the manga. I don't read any manga, actually. This is why I always say I'm not really as big of a weeb as I claim to be sometimes. But... Ben 10 can beat Goku, so he good in my book. <laughs> Bro, Ben 10's OP. Ben 10 could become Goku if he really wanted to. Because his power is like he can absorb other alien life forms. Or like transform into them, not absorb them, but copy their abilities basically so if Ben 10 turned into a Saiyan I mean he would literally be stronger than Goku at that point or well I guess he wouldn't be stronger but he'd be as strong why do our dudes keep learning the moves they already have I don't get that at all man I haven't experienced this either playing it on the switch so I'm really confused but whatever we're moving on with the story as we got team break what? The Phantom Thieves? No questions. Hand over all your Nexomite. I dare you to take another step, losers. What the heck is a Nexomite? What? You mean something like this? Uh-oh. What you gonna do now, little girl? Oh! They did not expect her to be a son today. <laughs> she got the look for it, dude. Come on. You should have seen it coming. I smash rocks for a living. Damn! I'm going to the lake. Bruh. Talon, come on. You guys okay? Why is Coco worrying about the bad guys right now? Ugh. <laughs> oh no. Gotcha! Now that the biggest threat is gone, you will give us all your coin. I thought you were after the Nexomite. Is that like... What's that one Australian thing? M Marmite? No. Vegemite? Something like that? I know it's something with mite in it. Or ite. I don't know what the heck they're talking about though. But... You've been doing anything different? You seem more relaxed. Oh, thank you, Lynch King. I mean, the only difference is we're not playing um, Among Us right now. <laughs> if it involves Among Us, then I'm, I'm gonna be stressed no matter what, but... I don't know, man. I mean, I guess I've just been living healthier out here, you know? Eating better, drinking that water. Y'all definitely got me with the hydration bots tonight. <laughs> My pee is basically water at this point, which is... I guess that's the goal that you want. I know I used to hear that from, like, the doctor. They say, like, it should be like that all the time. But, I mean, it's kind of impossible to keep that up all the time unless you're chugging gallons all the time i don't know i guess maybe you're supposed to drink that much to where you're always peeing crystal clear but for me it's difficult to drink water all the time like i mean i don't mind drinking water for every meal for example but i just can't consistently be keeping this water bottle and chugging it down if that makes sense um, so let's go for something a bit faster here. Oh! Ribombo! Yo, Ribombo actually looks pretty cool. I want to catch myself a Ribombo if we ever find one in the wild. But then again, we already have a fire type, so maybe not the best idea. Wait, we only had to beat one of them. Nice. What the? What did they just do? I don't, where did they go? We should tell Emily about this after we've done helping Videl. Yo, I just realized her name is Videl too. We got more Dragon Ball Z out here. That's where the frozen lake must be. Let's go. 
How does Coco go from looking so cute to so menacing in the matter of seconds, dude? When he puts up those shade eyes, I'm just like... Shock Pikachu face, you know? Or Gop Champ. The Munch Gop. Alright, let's find out if these crystals actually do heal us up. So right now, Stinger and Skunkite ain't looking too good. Or Skunkute. But now that we got the crystal... Hey, yeah, it literally heals up your whole party. Wow. That's amazing, dude. It's literally a Pokemon Center on the go. That was definitely worth. The main thing that I don't that I still don't get about this game. Like I feel like I've said that a lot, but this is for real this time. The aside from the uh, Nexo traps, which I feel like have been kind of fixed in this update. Or made a little bit better. Um I don't know how to find a certain Nexomon. I don't think the Nexopedia or the the Pokedex basically equivalent. It doesn't really show you their locations, I don't think. I mean, I guess we can check it out right now. The database. Uh, show scene only. Wait, what? Okay, so if I wanted to spike this, yeah, it doesn't even show you where it's at. All it says is like, oh, it tells you the food that they like though. Which isn't really that helpful either, since when you're going to catch it anyway, it tells you the percent it increases it by. But like, for example, if I wanted a Cruff, it doesn't even tell you where it's at, dude. Like, come on. I feel like that's something that they could improve in the game. Maybe add a map, too. Some type of map would be nice, with locations and all that. Oh my god. Speaking of locations, what the heck is this? Oh, we got a greed wallet. Does that like let us carry more money? Bro, is this Dr. Stone out here? We got an abandoned city overgrown with nature right now. This is Dr. Stone just a couple of years after the doomsday happened. Who are you? Isn't that the missing child? I don't need to be rescued. I know my way back. Param is full of boring adults. Tyrant this, tyrant that, yada yada. I didn't even know this was a side quest we had. What? She wants to battle us too? Yo, what is that? The crew. <laughs> Not the crew hub, just, just crew. He's out here. Looking like, uh... What's, his, what's the dude from Animal Crossing? I forgot his name. Gulliver? I think that was it. Last time I'm saying this, play the Henry Stickman collection. Bro, I talked about it earlier, actually. I said I'd be down, uh, maybe in December when we do more variety games. So you're gonna have to remind me then, but I'd be down to play him, man. Next month, we're definitely gonna do some more horror games on stream, though. Because, you know, it's Spooktober. It's Freaky Friday every Friday in October. For some reason, I don't know if... Let me check the type chart again. Because I think... Grass is actually super effective against electric. Oh, come on, the paralysis. That's annoying. Please, onion. Come on, little onion, you got this. Oh my God, we're totally dead. Okay, well, this is our fastest move, I swear. No! Onion, why? That sucks. I mean, I guess we can train up Skun Q. I didn't really know if I was gonna use it or not, but now we're... Definitely making use of our skunk cute. That was so unlucky. We got paral or full paralysis three turns in a row. Hey, at least get Coco gets that level up. No, my Nexomon, you jerks! Your Nexomon are trash, bro. Coco. Why is Coco so savage though? And she. Okay. I think I'm pretty good with children. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. So apparently we got to go back to a guard to get our reward for that. I don't remember what guard even gave us that side quest though. But I'm pretty sure there's more stuff around here. Really, there's no hidden items or, or wait, can we go in? Nope, we can't even go in the center. And what is this? Paupo companion. Bro, all of the companions we've gotten are for Nexomon that I don't have or haven't even seen in the wild yet. Oh, well, I guess that's it for the abandoned city. No Dr. Stone anywhere to be found. 
Oh, wait, are we about to go to the desert? Yo. Okay. Well, I mean, this wasn't actually the way to go for the story, so maybe I should head back after this battle. Uh, real pros like myself got water types from Palmaya in the frozen tundra. Oh. Well, I mean, we were at the frozen tundra. And then I forgot to save the game, so... I guess we could have caught ourselves a Fossifant there. Yo, this thing's pretty cute, too. I keep forgetting what mineral is weak to, though. Uh, apparently, water and wind. We don't have a wind yet. Dude, we caught the Deobab, but then we lost it. If we still had it, we'd be good right now, but... Explosion it is! Not very effective. You'll love to see it. I just realized what we're fighting right now, too. This is like a little sandcastle turtle. Oh my god. I think I'm in love with these Nexomon guys. They're too cute. <laughs> you wish this was a Nuzlocke, man. I would have been through so much pain already. So much suffering. But I've been thinking, though. Like, is it actually possible to do a Nexomon Nuzlocke? Because... The routes aren't exactly laid out like Pokemon routes. So unless you count each area as a separate route, then I guess you could do it, but that would be like a lot of Nexomon that you could use. I guess it would be mainly like not letting them die would be the challenge. I don't know, you could do like a half Nuzlocke. Like catch whatever you want, just don't let them die. All right, so apparently this was the person that uh, told us about the missing child. Just take your reward. Hey, 400 coins, yo! That is nice. Did we already heal up, by the way? I'm pretty sure we did, yeah. So I'm actually gonna go back. Nah, not the frozen tundra. Ooh, there's a flying type? Wind type, I think? Same difference, man. I'll get some things confused still here and there. I don't think anyone will actually care. Oh, but we killed it. Get Coco, you're too OP, man. You gotta relax. Come on. I wanted to catch that little Mirn. I think that was actually one of the starters, too. You should watch Ariel R's greatest video of all time. Didn't we watch that a couple streams ago when we were doing Fall Guys with Titar? Oh, wait, no, that we, we ended up watching the Chef video. Yeah, that greatest video of all time is, is a banger, dude. But here we are at the Frozen Lake. Which I guess is where the story continues. Still can't use the warp stones though. We got Bob the Builder out here. Kind of creepy, eh? Hot as heck and yet something froze the whole lake. I'm not going to explore the cavern until we figure out what happened. What happened? Those videos are definitely nice to go back and reminisce with though. Like... <laughs> we've leveled up. In life and in the content, I would say. Although I do like the fact that, like, I mean, I don't know, I guess... I would like to do more real-life stuff, content, like skits and all that, like I used to do, but... Maybe I'm just not quite as creative as I used to be as a kid. I guess it's not exactly that. I feel like I still have the creativity. It's just, like... Half of the ideas I come up with I know are trash. <laughs> So, like, when I was a kid, obviously, I'd throw anything up on YouTube anyway, even if it was a trash idea or not. Now, I guess I'm a little bit more, uh, hesitant on some of them, you could say. Okay, so little Owen in here has the EXP share, but I wonder what happens if we just send it out anyway to get these kills real quick. I like this one right here, too. It looks like mining and Rotom combined. You know what it actually looks like? Let me see if I can guess this Digimon's name right. He cute. Not not very strong, but you know. Cute factor is important. I really like that season though. Digimon Tamers. Ugh, I'm even more annoyed now thanks to you. Just leave me be. Fine. We gotta head into this cave anyway. Plus, there's a healing stone right here, which is very nice, dude. I'm, that is actually such a good addition, too. Because this game, I mean, I guess difficulty is not a bad thing, but there was way too little spots for healing. Like, everyone just ends up walking back anyway. So it's nice that they just added more areas to heal within the routes. 
Uh, but this lady here specializes in a selection of elemental Nexo traps. Those are great, but I heard the traveling merchants charge way too much for them. Well, duh, they're super difficult to create. If you really want to save money, you'd have to mine elemental shards and then find a crafter, which we can't really do yet, I don't think. Are you going to spend hours making Nexo traps or support the local economy? Bruh, give me that discount. The five finger discount, dude. Fine, but only this time. I won't rip you off. Wow, she actually... Okay. We raised our hand and apparently she, she actually gave us the discount. So we can buy pretty much every type. Well, not every type. She said she's limited in supplies, but we got fire, water, wind, ghost, and psychic nexo traps. Which the only one we have right now is fire, so... I'm gonna buy some regular ones first. I mean, this is pretty much the same price as they are at Cooper's shop, I think. We got 20 of them, dude. I think we're stacked. And then we'll get, like, two fire ones. Okay, we definitely need water ones. I haven't caught up water in Exomon yet. I'll buy a couple of those. And then maybe a couple of wind ones, too? Bro, our money is going by quick right now. Oh, no. Ghost? Have we even run into any ghost next someone yet? Uh, I think I'll... The thing is, I don't know if we're gonna get this discount again, so I feel like we should just stock up right now. But, like, I don't want to waste all of my money. I guess we'll eventually get it back, but nah, I'll just stick with that for now. Remember that I'm a traveling merchant, so I might not be here in the near future. Wait, so did we already lose the discount? Do you have all the elements? Nope. How much does she sell them for regularly then? Oh my god. Double the- Bro, that's almost double the price. Oh no, I should have just bought more. I should have got some psychic and ghost ones, but we haven't even run into any psychic or ghost next to on, so... Damn, I feel like I messed up. I should have just used up all my money, dude. Yo, what up, Ryan Red? And Blake Tay, glad to see you streaming this game. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm really digging it so far. Not as much as this girl is digging it, though. She got the pickaxe in hand. She ready, dude. Look at this mess. There's no reason for this place to be frozen. So we just have to escort you inside? I don't feel any safer with a bronze tamer, but whatever, damn. We literally bronze scrubs out here. I'm sure we'll level up eventually. That's a traveling merchant. Wait, we already talked to her. Unless she's gonna give us the discount again. Like, I'm ready for the five fingers. Anyway, come in when you're ready. I need to get to work. Okay, okay, let's do it. What is your favorite sword slash breathing style in Demon Slayer? Mine is Flame and Thunder. I think I like the Thunder one. The thunderclap that Zenitsu does. It's pretty legit. Look at this place. Yeah, yeah, we need to go deeper into the cave, so let's hurry up. Be careful and protect me from any hostile Nexomon. Bro, is she not a tamer herself? What? Just call her a weird cat. I mean, Coco's definitely a cat, but she ain't weird. Or he? I still don't know, man. Anyway, it looks like we got a little slip and slide out here. That definitely doesn't remind me of any other games either. It's in the title, guys. It's definitely not Pokemon. I really like Zenitsu, though. I think he might be my favorite character. Even though the little trope of him, like, always just falling asleep does get kind of tiring after a while. Like, I hope that in future seasons, he just mans up, for lack of better terms. Like, I don't want him to just be a little wuss that falls asleep every battle forever, you know? I'm sure that eventually he's gonna power up and not be so scared to fight. I think my favorite character might actually be the boar guy, though. I forgot his name right now. Bro, am I actually this bad at the ice puzzle? Wait, what? What am I not seeing here? It's probably so obvious, and I'm just not thinking right now. Excuse me, is there even anywhere else we could, like... Oh, wait, right here? Oh, yeah, it was so obvious, man. <laughs> Yo, this guppy's pretty cute, but... Not exactly the water type that I was hoping for. So I don't know if I'm gonna catch this one. I'm looking for something a little more menacing, you know? 
children's game. That's what we call the puzzles. Oh yeah, Inosuke, dude. Man, I can't believe I forgot. I claim he's my favorite character and then I forget his name. Come on. Bro, all we got is guppies out here. Come on. Give me something else. Hey, there we go. It's Blub Blub. <laughs> what are you doing, little guy? Level seven. Oh, no. I mean, maybe something a little stronger than this would be nice. <laughs> I feel bad just knocking him all out like that. Blub Blub, dude. Why? Why is his name Blub Blub, though? Dude, again, you're learning a move you already have. Come on, Onion. Stop it. The baby cast form. It does have a little bit of a cast form look to it. Okay, come on. I mean, we might as well just kill all these blub blubs or bloopish for the experience right now. Scaretic could use it. I guess Gekoko could use it too. We could probably have Gekoko's evolution by now if I'd just been training him, but might as well get Scaretic some levels too. I want to see that like Vika Bolt evolution I was telling you guys about. I feel like I've over drank water at this point, even though apparently it's very, very hard to do that. But my throat is definitely still dry, so you can never have enough. Bruh. Okay, this children's game. It's about to make me rage with this slip and sliding going on. Wait, did I mess it up? Oh no, I think we're still good. This way? Boom. Hey, we're out, dude. I'm too good. I'm going to... Why can we only move in four directions? Shut up, Videl. No one liked you in Dragon Ball. No one likes you in this game. Okay, that's a joke. I mean, I don't... I don't think people dislike Videl, but... <laughs> she was never my favorite character, personally. I feel like Gohan... You know. Not that he could have done better, but like, she didn't really fit him, I feel. I always saw Gohan as more of a... Piccolo kind of guy, you know? Get out of here, bloopish. Oh no, we're out of stamina! Come on! Uh... I mean, Videl's friend, though? Yo, she was... She was hitting on Gohan for a while, wasn't she? Like, before they got together officially. I don't even remember how it happened exactly, but... I know that was a thing. Like, Gohan, or Videl's friend was really into Gohan. Anyway, let's see what Nexomon Videl is into. There it is! Well, I have to admit that things went rather smoothly after all. You know what, Orange? You are not so bad. I spoke too soon. This is what we call in the industry, jinxing it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she did. The doll! <laughs> oh jeez, if Emily finds out about this, she's not gonna pay us. We shouldn't panic just yet. If we get our story straight, we can still change our names and start new lives far away from the city. <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. All right, all right, we will rescue her. What? Wait. You want to run away? Yeah, I don't, give, I don't give a crap about this girl, dude. I was not prepared for this. What just happened? She's in a hole, Orange. You know what? Let's at least try to find her. I've got a rope we can use to get down. Whoa. First talking about her holes and now the ropes. Calm down there, Coco. I was not ready for this whole rope thing. Oh wait, why is this ice not slip and sliding? That's weird. Hey, what up, Pikao? I like this Nexomon game. It brings me joy. It brings tear to my eye. Let's go down further into the depths. I guess we got no choice but to save Videl though. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd just leave her down here, but... You know, the plot requires it, so... Down we go! Not really liking the, uh, mons that we're finding down here, though. 
I mean, I guess the sounds is all right. It's kind of like a mouse version of Loud Red. I like the little speaker ears, <laughs> but I don't know if it's one that I would use. Oh, that's a missed opportunity too. They could have called it like squeaker, like like a speaker, but he's a squeaker, you know, because he's a mouse. Come on, Nexomon. You called it sn sounds like a sound mouse. Oh my God, what happened to her? Yeah, that's that's her. Who did this to her? I've got a bad feeling, Orange. We should leave and ask for help. Oh, you ain't going nowhere. It's a little lonely in this cavern. Stay a little longer, kitty. Who said that? Who's about to break the ice? Zinnia? Wait, not Zinnia. Zinnia had the green hair. She got the blue hair. Hey, Orange! That's just the girl. We got nothing to fear. Or do we? What? Is this the first boss already? Well, well, well. Ain't this quite the jackpot? One, two, three poor souls. Exactly what I needed. With this many hostages, the guild will twink twice before coming after me and my Nivalis. Yo, is Coco about to say the N-word? That's a tyrant, Orange! That's right, my Nivalis and the invincible tyrant of Frost. The tamers of the guild have been chasing us to no end, but now I have the upper hand thanks to you. We can't win against the tyrant, Orange! We need to get out! Come on! Bro, I told you we should have just left Fidel down here. You were the one that threw the rope down into the hole. Come on! We need to cancel Coco right now. He's gotten us into too much trouble in this game already. Ho oh, ho, are you scrubs for real? You just try to run away? What about your friend, punks? Yeah, no, I'm down to just feed her to your giant spider. I'm cool with that. And you call yourselves tamers of the guild. So sad. Oh, God. Yeah, it's looking like boss time, boys. This is the end. But Nivalis is about to find out that it's locked in here with us. What? Why is it at half health? I'm pretty sure. Huh. That's weird. Maybe because it's the first boss, they try to make it easy on us. There's no difficulty in this game, though. Is there like any setting? Oh, God. Okay, it does a lot of damage, though. So, you know what? I'm, uh... Not complain about the fact that it's have half health just yet. We're definitely gonna switch on over to Stinger though, because oh wait, what? Okay, I'm an idiot actually. Why did I think that fire was gonna be super effective here? Oh god. And we're dead. <laughs> Good job, Stinger. Okay, well I'm definitely getting my type advantages mixed up, so let's uh, focus up and go for Onion here. I don't think Plant is super effective on water in this game, though. It ain't like Pokemon in that aspect. Grass, just neutral against water, but... Um, this has a chance to poison it. I feel like poison would actually help a lot. Wait, we have Poison Cloud twice. I just realized that. Okay, let's keep going for it. Fire beats water. Yeah, if you get hot enough, man, it'll boil it. We gotta boil this crab right now. Come on, poison it. Oh, come... Dude! And we're already really low health, so I want Onion to get the experience. Let's go into... Oh, no! Little Skunkute! <laughs> oh, Skunkute is so dead, dude. Oh, and we're slower than it, too. Okay, well, I've been saving Get Coco this whole time. He's our powerhouse. So if he can't do it, then no one can. Come on, Get Coco! There we go. That barely did any damage. We still have healing items, too. Gotta remember to use those, but we can go for one more lightning roar here. Oh my god, we might actually lose this after all. I'm just gonna potion my dude up right now. Okay, now I'm not questioning this thing being at half health. <laughs> We're getting our ass kicked, dude. I just realized we had heal the whole time. We can just heal ourselves. We don't even need the potions. Yo, Gekoko's OP. Let's go, get Coco! 
You got this, son. Boom. One more of those, maybe? Oh, God. Nope. Now one more. But I don't know if we're faster. I shouldn't risk it. Right? I should just heal up again. Yeah. The heal is 100 speed. Which, I mean, I'm going to guess that's going to be faster than, than the, any enemy out here. But I didn't want to risk it anyway. I guess we can risk it now. Oh, there we go. That proves that. The heal definitely would have been faster. And the Pulse Storm would not. So if we went for Pulse Storm, we definitely would have died. But there we go. Gekoko clutches it out. Look at that fatty experience gain. 145 on our two electrics and 200 on onion. Come on. That's insane. And we get the super punch on Skeretic. We already have that. Why? Bro, is there like... Did they update the starter's moves from the start or something? Because like, I don't, I don't understand why we're learning moves that we already had. Gekoko had recover at level 12. Yeah, maybe he was supposed to learn it later on or something. I don't... I'm confused. But hey, we beat the boss. I knew that this would happen. Nivalis is still exhausted from that other fight. We must recover before it's too late. So this is where you've been hiding. Atlanta. What? Her name's Atlanta? The city? Yo. Why is he kind of hot though? Cowering in a dark and cold cavern, are we? A most fitting tomb to end your sad story. Bonnie, battle analysis. Yo, is this Colrus? The Nexomon version of Colrus? By graphing Nivalis' stats, taking environment variables into account, and carrying the two. Conclusion! You'll kick her butt, sir! Then let's do that. She's simping for him hard right now. Edward! How do you keep on finding me? Well, you did freeze the entire lake. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's it. Oh, so this is just supposed to be a regular lake? Cough, cough! Ugh. What just happened? Who are you? Behind me, please. Huh? So who is this Atlanta lady? What the heck? <laughs> she just noticed. Hey, we already beat it. Like, why is... Mr. Hot Professor got to step in to, like, save the day. We already saved the day enough. Now then. So this is where you and your tyrant hold up after our last encounter. Let's end it here and now, Atlanta. The guild wants a word with you. Gah. Nivalis. We're retreating. Come on. Yo. How is everyone in every game I've been playing lately so good at escaping? First Insurgents, now Nexomon. Everybody gets away from us, man. Come on. That thing eats people. Does it? Ah, Orange, yes. You're one of the newest guild tamers. Sending a bronze tamer to this place was an unfortunate oversight on Emily's part. I knew it. I told you. You've done a fine job, though. There's plenty to talk about, but let me get you out of this place first. No idea who this man is, but I guess he's Edward. And we get an achievement for that. Wow! What in the world was that thing? Nivalis is what most people call a tyrant. What? We actually just beat the first tyrant? You know, the way they were hyping it up in the beginning of the game. I mean, it was pretty tough. But I thought the tyrants would be, like, insanely strong. Then again, it was at half health, so... It's a bug! They said they fix it. Wait, it being at half health? Or... Was there another bug that I wasn't paying attention to? Tyrants are a very peculiar breed of Nexomon. You must avoid them and their masters, no matter what. You were lucky that Nivalis was so weak. And who are you guys? Seems like it was intentional for it to be at half health, since they keep mentioning the fact that it was weakened. Sir Edward is one of the guild's Grandmaster Tamers, just like Dina. We were hunting down Atlanta and her nefarious tyrant. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Please return to the guild and tell Emily everything. Oh, you bet I'm gonna tell her. Uh, there's something else I'd like to... Okay. It's normally a privilege of silver tamers, but you've earned it. Oh my god, yo, we get the warp stones finally! Nice, we don't have to, like, walk everywhere anymore. I'm granting you permission to use the guild warp stones. 
You can only use warp stones that you've registered, though. That red warp stone over there. Touch it to add this location. Mm. The capital of Param has a warp stone that is already activated for you, so you can go there immediately. Always keep an eye out for red warp stones. Okay. We got a fast travel system. Farewell, and try not to worry about the tyrants. As a bronze tamer, they are not your concern. Once you return to the guild, your quest will be completed, and you'll receive your reward. Are we going to rank up already? Silver tamer? Probably not yet. Huh. I heard that the tyrants are fighting each other or something. They have like a war going on, you know? And what are they fighting for? Beats me. Why do I have to teach you this stuff? <laughs> you guys should go back to the guild with that warp thingy. Get stronger and I might hire you again. So this girl's not a tamer herself then. Okay. Just keep having us battle for you then. What's up with all these people that just showed up? What? Yeah, Nivalis was here. And y'all just stood around and did nothing while a little kid protected you. Stop lying, he's actually Kibutsuji Muzan. You mean... Vampire Michael Jackson? That's always what I call him whenever I watch Demon Slayer. Literally my first reaction when I saw the villain, I'm like, Bro, what the heck, Michael Jackson is the villain? Alright, we register the warp stone. And we can travel back to the city. Oh, there is a map. Oh my god, this is so cool. So we started off back here. This was like the orphanage. I guess to the south we have like a ghosty looking area. Or maybe psychic. It's got like purple trees and stuff. And then here's the frozen lake. Down to the south we got the desert. There's like a fire town down here. That looks pretty cool. It looks kind of small though, to be honest. And then this up here we couldn't access yet. This like mushroom forest or whatever it is. But... Ooh, I wonder what this tower is going to be all about. And I think that's the Drake Islands all the way in the background over there. So I mean... I don't know exactly how long this game is, but the map doesn't seem extremely big. Let's head back to Param City for now. And probably wrap up the stream there. Hello, old man. I've come to check on your bald spot. Have you laid any eggs yet? No? Okay. Oh yeah, never mind. We've already explored probably all of these buildings, so there's not really... ...much else to do here. Um... Yeah, I think we'll probably save this for the next one then. I guess we could go back to the orphanage so we can activate the warp stone there. But I can't believe that whole time we didn't find a single good water type though. Like we still have just this team that we started off with, minus Cubby. Because we ended up giving him away. 